Hey everybody, uh, we are out here at a uh, new flying field that I'm trying. Um, I brought my, <coughs> my plane out here today, thought we'd give it a try. Um, there's very little sun, um, I think it's about, I don't even know what time it is really, 6 o'clock, something like that, but there's like, like a lot of cloud cover, so um, flying into the sun today isn't going to be an issue. Um, so something I've done differently, I wanted to take a minute to show you. Um, I went back to just using a piece of angle aluminum here uh, instead of having the whole U-shaped mount like I had before. Um, I, was, I was bending shafts. Um, I, I had gotten in touch with uh, uh, Grayson Hobby and I was able to order a couple of new shafts. Uh, they, they came out three millimeters shorter than the shaft that come with my Turnigy motor but the prop adapter slides on there um, r really easily, real nicely. Um, excuse me, the hiccups. Uh, tight tightens up on there real good, and uh, it's, it's actually really, really smooth. Uh, I got the blade uh, balanced, and uh, I'm feeling pretty confident. I would say I spun it up just a little bit there at the house uh, before I came out here, and um, it, really, it r r really turns uh, smooth. And um, so we're going to give this thing a try. Unfortunately, the bad thing is I'm out here by myself today. So I got the, the tripod on the camera. Uh, I'll try to get the plane in front of the camera. I'm, I'm still not, I still don't know how, how good at this I am. So bear with me. Here we go. Okay, yep. We're definitely going to do this the right way and turn the camera on first. I just about launched the plane and forgot to turn the camera on. Oh, that'd be kind of funny. Um, so, here we go. Let's see what happens. wasn't too bad. It um, um, needs, uh, needs some adjustments here. Second, let's try that again. Well, I don't, I don't know how much of that you guys could see. I hope you could see it. Um, I, uh, I, 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 I mixed some rudder in with my ailerons, and now I think my, my ailerons just have too much throw. Um, uh, here, here the, the wind's picking up again, so I think I'm just going to pack it up and take it home. Um, I'm, I'm still, still trying to learn this plane, and uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to screw it up right now. So. Thanks for watching. Okay, well, uh, did you guys see a problem here? <laughs> yeah, I do. What's wrong with that picture? What's wrong? What's wrong with that picture? Yeah, well, I tried turning the camera off. Uh, I was ready to pack it up, and you know, because like I said, I mean, the, the wind was picking up, so I was, uh, was going to pack it up and head home. Now, <laughs> what, what, what are those? What are those famous last words? What? One more time? Yeah. Let's do it one more time. Uh, I went into my uh, travel adjustments uh, on my DX6i, and I changed. 
I, I, I reduced the throw a little bit, or quite a bit, excuse me. I, I reduced the throw quite a bit, and uh, I figured, well, I'll try it one more time. So, uh, it, it, it was it was nice at the time because I mean the the wind had, had died down, um, and I, it was something I noticed. So you know I was pretty confident, and I guess I got too confident. And I was flying it. I got it out over this way over here, and the 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 size of the plane I guess threw off my my depth perception, and I flew it into a bunch of bushes over there. Uh, man, that was awful. That was. That was a lot louder than I thought it was going to be. I mean, there's that split second before it hit, you know. Uh, I was thinking, man, this could be kind of loud. Wow! It, just, it, it was like like somebody took a, a, a stick, uh, a big branch, and just whoosh, you know, through every branch. That's pretty much what it sounded like. But, uh, no, I just want to check. Actually, I, I think the, the motor, the motor's just fine. The shaft is still straight. Um, it just looks like, looks like the wing took the, the brunt of the damage. It hit, you know, there obviously and there, and snapped my, my wood dowel that I was using. Um, everything else looks like it's in, you know, good shape. Um, just screwed up a little bit of foam board. Um, but I tell you what, I think because because of this, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take. I'm going to take off. All, t t I'm going to take the electronics off of this plane, and I'm going to put it into the the newer plane that I was working on a while ago. Um, and it, it, it's basically it, it, it's going to be pretty much kind of the same dimensions. The fuselage is going to be a little narrower. Um, the 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 the, uh, the the entire tail. Assembly, it's 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 uh, com it's completely redone, and what I'm hoping to get out of it is I'm hoping to get um, I'm hoping to get a good mo motor glider of this style, uh, but I want I want to see if I can get it to come out lighter than this because like 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 I've said before, uh, when, when I when I when I weighed this one, it was it was somewhere between 1,250 grams and 1,280 grams, and quite a few of the people that I've seen online with their photons, you know, they're, they're right there along with Ed, you know, in the 850 to 880 range. Now, I'm gonna, I wanna see if I can get mine mine down to that. Uh, Cause man, th this sucker's just, it's heavy. If it, it flies well, I mean, it really does. Um, if, you, if, if you know, landing it in the wind, it'll just sit in one spot just I mean, for, for a long, long time. I mean, you have to point the nose down to get it to come down. Uh, and then give it that last little flare at the end to set it down. So yeah, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take the electronics off of this and put it in the other plane. And um, you know, we'll see about here in a week or so. Um, trying to trying to give 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 that give the the, the new, newer plane its maiden flight. And uh, we'll we'll just chalk this one up as a learning lesson. To, I mean, th th this was fun. I really like the colors, the purple and red. Um, you know, just it's it's different. I really liked it. Um, just the sucker's heavy, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my busted pieces, or well, my busted piece really. Uh, but I'm gonna pack my stuff up and I'm gonna head home, and um, we'll see about stripping the electronics off of this. So appreciate you watching.